What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be telling you how to get the best FPS possible in a Valorant, but it's not going to be your generic FPS boost. I'm going to be telling you uh, ways that you can actually resolve having low CPU and GPU usage and high CPU GPU usage, rather than just telling you do this and do that and you'll get the best uh, frames possible. But I'm going to give you some more sort of optional routes that should hope to get you some better FPS. Also stick around on the channel because I'm going to be showing you a lot more FPS videos uh, to do with Valorant, Fortnite and other popular games. But to start off with, we're going to go into the settings here. We're going to start off with general. Uh, essentially, all of the stuff here, personal preference, I recommend you come down to the other section here. And essentially, what you want to do is just turn all of these off here. Everything in the other section right here. Turn all of this off. However, you may choose to have a... Uh, in save of the indicators basically this is just gonna give some extra information but however i recommend turning uh this show mature show mature content off because that's gonna get actually give you pretty a pretty good significant fps boost moving on to the network buffering if you've got a uh, sort of a ethernet cable whacked into your pc i highly recommend you go for minimum but if you're going off sort of a wireless internet then it's more um reliable for you to go on a moderate run uh maximum you just want to ignore Bending, Ethernet, go for minimum, moderate, go for the uh, wireless connection. Um, come down here, if you go to show bullet traces, you want that off as well. And the rest of these you want off. Basically, the rest of these settings here is personal preference. Um, however, if you want a good sort of uh, minimap layout, I do recommend you using this one right here. And uh, you may find this to be better than the default one. Now, moving over to video, you may find Starting off with the full screen mode, is that depending on your PC, you may find it better on a windowed full screen rather than full screen. Um, especially for lower end PCs, definitely try this out. Uh, go into the range or something so you can quickly uh, change it from there and then. But for me, this season or as the latest patch, um, full screen gives me more FPS boost. However, I had have it uh, in earlier patches where windowed full screen actually gave me a pretty big FPS increase. But however, it may not, it may not, that's why I recommend you try and see what works out best for you. Come over to the resolution, I highly recommend you do 16 by 9 and whichever FPS um, you want. For me, 240Hz at 1920, that is my one. However, you may find it's better if you take it down one and go to um, 16 by 900 And again, depending on your system usage, that may actually... Uh, that would help significantly if you have a much more higher uh, usage. Changing the resolution of your screen should be able to resolve that problem. And then going into your graphical settings, and I'll tell you that in a minute. Um, monitor, keep it the same. Aspect ratio, keep on letterbox. Come down to here. Basically, this is also the personal preference. However, you may find that you want to put a limit on your menus and background uh, on your PC just to keep it under less stress in general. Um, but the rest of these things are quite personal preference. Uh, now moving on, we're going to go to the stats first. Instead of going over to the graphic content, basically you may not know if you have these on graphs and all on text, you're actually using a big chunk of your... Um, uh, FPS by having the graphs on, I highly recommend you only have text on for some of the essentials one, like client FPS, packet loss, and the server tick rate. These are the only ones I would recommend have on. I would definitely, if you're here, you're probably going to want to have the FPS on. But however, I recommend you do not use the graph, because the graphs are going to take up a lot of your FPS. And you don't want that, do you? No, I didn't think so. So, now we can move on to the good stuff that everybody wants to know. Multi-thread rendering. If you've got the option for this, 100% use this. This is gonna, if you don't have this on, then I highly recommend you turn this on because this is going to increase your FPS by the most. Uh, again, depending on what your settings currently on. Now, for me, these are the settings that I tend to use are uh, the regular. Um, so starting off with the main graphics ones, you may everybody just tells you put them all on low, everything on low, but no, that's not actually going to grant you the best FPS sometimes. Sometimes if you're seeing experience lower CPU usage or uh, and GPU usage, I recommend you turn up your textures ones, probably not up to the high, but turn up to medium and the detail quality. These two right here can actually uh, solve that and actually grant you more FPS because it will uh, force your system to use up more, uh, more, we'll just say percentage. 
um, than it having it all on low, which may actually cap your FPS. Um, so I have my textures on medium, and I also have my UI quality on medium because I find that having the detail quality on starts to decrease it, but the UI quality doesn't uh, isn't much intensive as the detail quality. So I recommend you experiment here. And go in, again, go into the range, find out your FPS sort of uh, the average. Uh, you can do this by installing MSI Afterburner and turning on the settings on in the uh, application, and that will actually grant you the average FPS of the duration of time. Uh, that it's got opened. I highly recommend you do that. Um, I would highly recommend you keep both of these off, especially VSync. Keep both of these off always. I do recommend that. Anti aliasing. If you don't like sort of just jagged edges on things, then I recommend you turn that to MSAA2. Uh, uh, this one here, I'm not even going to. I can't. I have that. Again, if you don't like how it looks, turn it up to two or four. I highly recommend, again, experiment around this your system but i highly recommend you keep it down on one uh, same with anti-aliasing um, these four settings right here the only one i do recommend you turn on is your Im improved clarity this one i sometimes have on because it just makes the game look slightly nicer and it does uh, increase my fps from time to time however it doesn't seem to be uh consistent so i just keep it off um to be due to patches because a lot of this Every time there's a patch, I highly recommend you go into all these settings and redo them if you're that bothered about your FPS and if there's that significant decrease from it. Again, it may you may find that you get more FPS increase. The patches aren't always going to be negative, but generally speaking, test uh, all of these settings after the patch. But for me, you may find that these settings right here, may try, I would recommend you copy these because generally speaking, if you have got lower CPU and GPU usage, these settings right here should fix that problem. Um, Again, depending on your system, whether it's higher or lower, um, that will depend on the increases or the decrease that it does. But the main one is definitely have a go with texture quality. Texture quality on most games, if you've watched my previous video on Fortnite, I highly recommend you change the texture quality on most games that you play. If you play any other games, then definitely test out the texture quality on it. And you may find that having the texture quality on a higher setting gives you more of an FPS increase. Um, but that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you comment down below saying that you subscribe and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you've got any other questions, comment it down below. Stick around because I'm going to be doing much more videos on FPS increases for any games. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.